Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, well, not today. This is going to be like a, a, I'm reading romance for a week. Obviously, by reading the title, you know, I'm reading romance for a week. Um, I'm not going to do a seven day week. I'm going to do five day week. So Monday through Friday. Um, and then, so yeah, I have a lot of romance on my TBR. So I was like, Let's film a reading romance for a week video. I am currently in the middle of reading Better Than the Movies by Lum Painter, rereading it. Um, and it is just as good as it was when I read it the first time. And I read this in February. Like this was this was a new read for me this year. Um, if you read my mid-year wrap-up, or not my mid-year wrap-up, mid-year tag, um, I talked about this book. Um Currently, I am on page 197, so I'm a little over halfway, um, and it, it is very good. I love Liz and Wes. I love them so much. We, I don't really talk about Wes. I've talked about Wes once, but I, I, I love Wes. Okay, first of all, he plays baseball. Just let that sink in a little bit, okay? He plays baseball. That's number one. Number two, he is absolutely hilarious. Are you joking? Like, he's hilarious. And I love him. I love him so very much. So, I'm gonna continue reading this very, very good book. Um, I've posted about this book like three times on Instagram on my story. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you know how much I just absolutely love this book because I'm constantly posting like little edits that people make of this book. I just, oh my gosh, I, I love, love this book. So, let's start reading and hopefully we'll, we'll finish today. I have like, what, maybe like a hundred and something pages left, hundred and... 40-ish, 150-ish, 150-ish pages left. So I'm not annotating it because I annotated it the first time that I read it. So I'm just enjoying myself at this point. Um, but yes, it, this book is as good as it was the first time. It, it's it's almost better in a way because I'm, I like all the little pieces that I forgot about, I'm rereading them and I'm like, this is amazing. Like I forgot about the penny I haven't got to the penny yet, obviously, because that's at the end of the book. Um, but I saw an edit and it had like, it was talking about the penny in the edit and I like reposted it and was like, the penny! I forgot about the penny! I can't believe I forgot about the penny. I love the penny. The penny really just, just, the penny came through. So, yeah, let's start reading. It's been, a, it's been a couple hours. Um, I finished better than the movies. Five stars once again. I do need to update my Goodreads once I'm done doing this. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really good. I liked it as much as I did the first time, if not like a little bit more. So I'm very glad that I just decided to reread this. Um, which I can thank Bookstagram for because I kept getting like reels that would pop up that were like videos about this book. So it influenced me to the point where I was like, let's reread it. So yeah, this was very exciting. Now I need to pick my next read. I have four romance books, but one of them is a third in a series. So technically I have three to choose from at this current moment. So we have Seagrass Pier by Colleen Cobble. Um, this is like a romance mystery. They're always like very good. So there's one. Then I have Beach Read by Emily Henry. Um, I was influenced by Sarah Caroli because she is obsessed with this book. So I was like, 
let's try some Emily Henry. I also read People We Need on Vacation, but that was last week, and I did like it. Um, and then we have It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. This is the second book in the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. I don't know. This is the one that I, like, least want to read. So, I think it's going to be between Beach Read and Seagrass Pier. I don't really feel like annotating right now. So that will be my deciding factor. I, d I, d I want to annotate this one. I want to annotate all my Emily Henry books. Um, but this one is the third book in a like interconnect interconnected standalone trilogy. I read the second one last month and then I read the first one a couple months ago. Um, and I didn't annotate either of those. So I think I want to stick to that theme and not annotate this one either. So I think I'm gonna do this one, Seagrass Pier. I'm very excited for this one. Hopefully it's as good as the other two because we haven't met these characters yet. Have we? No, we have not met these characters yet. Um, so I'm very interested to see how it ties into the story. They're all on the same like small town. It's an island, but it's like the whole island is one town. Um, it's very small. So I'm very interested because we haven't met these characters yet. So I'm I'm interested to see what this one is about. So I'm gonna start reading this and I will update you in a couple hours potentially or if I finish the book it's pretty short. I think it's like 300 pages or something. 300 a little 303 pages. So this should be a quick read. I might, I might finish it today. It's not that long, so we'll see. All right, it is the next day. I am on page 63. I read a little bit yesterday. It's, the first like four chapters, I wanna say, the first four chapters were very difficult um, to, get into like I couldn't really understand the story and how like the girl MC and the male MC like how they how they fit into the the story um but I think I have it figured out now basically the guy is cousins with one of the um like Coast Guard side characters from the first two books in the series, um, who ironically is what I was who I was hoping this book would be about. And then the girl I don't oh she's best friends with Guy's cousin. Um, the tropes right now are um, the tropes are enemies to lovers, second chance romance technically. Um, single mom, technically secret child because the male and it's, that's not a spoiler. Um, the kid is the guy's daughter, but he didn't know that. So it's kind of like a surprise, which I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's considered that, is it? I don't think so. Um, so it's enemies to lovers. It is second chance romance, forks, forced proximity, and yeah, and then it's a single parent trope, the mom, the, m what? Words, okay. The female MC's husband died, and she has a kid, but it wasn't that guy's kid. This story is so, like, do you see how complicated it is for me to understand what's going on in this book? Like, I have no clue what's going on honestly in life in general but like I, I I don't understand what's going on right now I'm only 60 pages in so that might have something to do with it but um yeah that's my update right now that took entirely too long
I will update you after I've read a little bit more and hopefully I understand what's going on better than I do right now because this is just absolutely atrocious. Okay, I finished Seagrass Pier, finally. It took me all day to finish it, but I finally finished it. Um, I think, I, I think I'm gonna give this one five stars. I think every book in this series has been five stars actually. Um, and this book was really interesting because about halfway through you you feel like you know who um the, the bad guy is in this book um but then like and it, and it seems so obvious and I was so like let down and disappointed and I was like this is so like, you know, the, the first two books in this trilogy and another a standalone that I've read by Colleen Cobble, like you, you never guessed what the ending was going to be. So I was really disappointed with this one because I was like, it's so like obvious who it's going to end up being. And then it ended up being somebody else. And so it just, it just like the whole thing kind of threw me for a loop. Um, but I, I really loved the ending. Um, another thing, the two Coast Guard characters that I was hoping this book was going to be their story, I have talked about it a couple times in earlier videos. So they, I got their, their story in this book, like it was, uh, like a, like the second um, storyline almost because it was how many POVs were there three yeah okay so this book was dual POV so there was the female MC the male MC they both had their own POVs oh and then the female MC's mom had a couple of um like her own POVs too and then the um uh, the girl that I thought this book was going to be about she also got her own pov so we also got her story with um her coast guard teammate which i loved and everything has just kind of come full circle a little bit so i just i i, lo I loved it i got everything that I wanted to get out of this book and it was a very good conclusion to this series. There is like a Christmas novella but it is ebook only and I don't have like a Kindle or anything like that. Um, so I mean I won't be I mean if I ever get a Kindle I will definitely read it but that won't be any time in the near future. Um, so yeah, I am giving this book five stars, obviously. It is the next day, um, and I'm going to pick my next read. So we have Beach Read by Emily Henry, and then It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. I think I want to read Beach Read first. Okay, I think I'm going to read Beach Read, and I don't think I'm going to annotate it either. I'm going to read Beach Read, um, I'm really putting off the rest of the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy, um, not really, I just, I'm not in the mood, I guess, I'm not too excited to start that, um, but I am excited to read another Emily Henry, so, I'm going to start reading. Bye. It's been several hours. Um, I am on page, wow, my voice is shot. Okay, um, I'm on page 86 and um, I've done a, a lot of other things today, but um, I, I like, I like, I'm really enjoying the book, but for some reason I am like fighting to get like, just turn the page and I don't know why. I really like, the book and I like both of the main characters my voice is terrible right now I'm so sorry I was jamming out in the car probably shouldn't have done that um yeah it's not like I'm 
disliking the book. I actually really like the book. Um, but for some reason I just can't get myself to turn the page. So hopefully I, I, I read more tomorrow. I don't know. I'm going to keep reading tonight and maybe it'll, it'll, it'll pick up a little bit for me. So it's not as hard for me to read. It has gotten a little bit easier. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm not even through the first 100 pages, so that might have something to do with it. I don't know, but this is, that's, that's what I've got so far. So your next update will probably be tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. It's, the day's almost over and I haven't updated you guys yet, but I've been reading for a couple hours today. I'm on page 200, exactly. So I'm, I'm halfway through the book and it has definitely picked up. I read a lot since the last time I updated you. Um, when I think about it, cause I was on page like 80 something when I updated you. So I've, I've read quite a bit. I've read a lot more today than I did yesterday. Um, and it's going by quicker cause I'm not annotating, but I think eventually I'm going to go back and reread this book and fully annotate it um but that is not I don't know I just don't feel like annotating halfway through because then eventually I have to go back and annotate like the first half so I'm just gonna wait to annotate until I decide to reread this book and I definitely think I will be rereading this book because it's so good I love January and Gus and I, I just, I love their relationship and I love this book. I love everything that, like, every little thing that is in this book, I just love. I will admit that the first, like, 80 pages were really hard for me to get into. And that's never happened in a book before, but, like, I don't know. Maybe I was just tired or something. I don't know. Um... But I am no longer having that issue and I'm really, really enjoying this book. So, I don't know. I don't know if, I don't, I don't know what my prediction would be. So I don't, I don't think I have one right now as to like what the star rating will be at the end. See, I'm having this issue lately, like we're in the last month I've had this issue where I as soon as I finish a book I don't know what I want to rate it and typically I know like immediately after I read the last page okay this is a four star this is 4.5 this is five stars and lately I just don't know which is so weird for me and completely off topic but I'm gonna keep reading hopefully I'll get another hundred pages let's let's see I might get another hundred pages in. It's that much. That's not bad. I could probably do that. Okay, page 300 ends like when a chapter starts when a, when a chapter is. So that makes me very happy. So my goal is to get to 300 pages by the end of today. We'll see if I end up doing that or not. But okay, I finished Beach Read last night. And it is very good. It's definitely, it's very good. I, I don't know how to explain this, but I learned a lot from this book about life, I guess. And I don't know. I mean, I personally am a hopeless romantic. So like, like delusional hopeless romantic. So this book was kind of like, hey, that, that's not, that's not real. Like, the, I know this is fiction, but like, it felt like it wasn't because, you know, life happens. Life happens a lot in this book. Um, not, I don't know. For some reason, I was like learning things with the characters which has never happened in a book before. Um, so yeah, I'm giving it five stars. This book was very good. I love the characters. I love January and Gus. They're so, they're like, 
they're cute together, but they're also, they know how to, like there wasn't any, it wasn't technically a third act breakup. There wasn't miscommunication in this book. Um, which I really do not like miscommunication. Um, and I, I don't know, I just, I really like this book. I feel like I learned something from this book, which doesn't typically happen, but maybe that's because I read fantasy. So there's not really any life lessons in fantasy. It's just kind of try not to die. Um, but yeah, I love this book and I am obsessed with it. So I only have two more romance books, but like it's the second and third book in the Summer I Turn Pretty series. So obviously I'm reading It's Not Summer Without You next. So let's get to reading. Hopefully I'll finish this in one day. How many pages is that? There's 275 pages, so I should be able to finish this today, um, but we'll see. So yeah. Also, I ordered this off of Amazon, and they cut off the bottom of the spine. I don't know if you can see it, but they cut off the bottom of the spine, and I'm not happy about it, because when I get a bookshelf, they're going to be uneven, because there is a height difference. It's very small, but it's gonna bother me. Okay. I finished It's Not Summer Without You. I obviously can't say anything if you haven't read book one because everything will be a spoiler. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about being Team Jeremiah, you know, feeling, feeling pretty good about that. Um, I enjoyed this book a lot better than the first one. I've definitely like connected with the characters more throughout this book. I think I'm going to give it 4.5 stars. Um, so I think I'm going to give it, yeah, I think I'm going to give it 4.5 stars. It was very good. I really enjoyed it so that's really all I have to say about this one other than I love the covers of these books they're amazing all right that is it for this video um I hope you guys enjoyed I actually really enjoyed this um and apparently I'm a romance girly now so comment down below some romance recommendations maybe I'll read it we'll see I don't know um, so yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and, um, hit the notification bell if you want to be uploaded every time I upload, which is on Mondays. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!